Ew! Ciao! I'm so sorry I showed up homeless. So today we are going to be roasting my old photo. I tried so, okay, I tried so hard to look for like photos of me fourth grade through fifth, sixth, through sixth. None. I tried to delete my entire existence from then. So this first one, I did indeed let Oompa Loompas cut my hair. If I saw this little girl walking down the street, I would drop kick her. I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. My hair was really here. My hair was really this short. I had no eyebrows. I had no eyelashes. I had no lips. What did I have going for me? Not that haircut. Not those bangs. Our, okay. Mom always had us freaking twinning like we were twins. She had us dressing like we came out at the same time. Hey guys, it's Taylor. You're watching CNN News and I'm here to tell you about how the world is ending. I was so mad that Morgan got that red um, scarf. I remember being so mad. I think this is like at a Christmas party. This was definitely, this was either a birthday party for me, like some birthday get together or some sort of Christmas event. So a white tank top that is almost way too big for me, bootcut jeans, and I think those are docks, but I could be wrong. So I got that same haircut going for me. This is in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> this is in front of the pencil. Um, I, I definitely had to be in kindergarten by now. I remember that shirt. And the jacket Morgan was wearing. I got that as a hand-me-down. And I loved it. Oh! Okay, this one I am kind of pimping in. Oh, okay. This was definitely at a park and I definitely forced my mom to take this photo. That's a cute outfit. I would definitely wear that today. I definitely thought I could be on the cover of Vogue. Those shoes are bomb too. Anyways, um, matching again. I just wanted to say who pimped me out like this? Who did it? Can you do it again? Where did my eyebrows go? Where were they? I didn't find my eyebrows until like sixth grade. This photo is me and Morgan now. What was my hair? Um, I was definitely forced by my own will to take this photo. Also notice how we are twinning again. This one, okay, boy, why is my body like that? She's on slow mode, ciao. Anyways, this is um me and my mom. I look like I'm about to cry. Like I look like I'm so mad I'm about to cry. This one, we were definitely camping. The khaki shorts is really a good compliment to the rest of my, you know, purple theme. The shoes. Boot cut jeans and I don't remember that shirt. That might be a dress. I can't tell if I was forced to take this photo or if I forced someone to take this photo. Um, this is that bike again. Now this outfit is fire. I do remember that um, skirt and I remember thinking that this outfit was the, the bomb. I wasn't wrong. Shout out to Taylor. Um, so this was a salmon sw knit sweater, boot cut jeans, and a plaid purple skirt. Nobody can rock it better than I can. Oh my gosh, isn't my grandma so cute? I was definitely having a good time and you can just tell by my pose. Also probably because I didn't have to walk at all. I don't have anything to say about the outfit. This photo, okay, the only reason I wanted to talk about this photo is because of my mom's makeup. So shout out to you mom. Did. Did. Also, half of my life, I feel like I looked like I was wearing a wig. I look like I was wearing a wig. This photo reminds me of the boy who played Charlie in Charlie and the 
chocolate factory and it does make me want to dig a hole and bury myself in it <laughs> i found this and i immediately peed my pants i pissed myself and ask me why i did if i saw that at my big old age right now i would cry who did jimmy neutron like that Poor Jimmy Neutron. There's a lot of pictures of me at the fair, and I feel like I spent basically my entire childhood there. I think my mom might have tried to give me away to the fair. Cute outfit. She decided green sandals. That's my grandpa. I hate my hair. My mom definitely did my hair. This outfit is pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. I would wear those jeans today. I'll wear those jeans today if they fit me like that. Shoot. Next, I'm tired. You could spill the whole alphabet on my forehead and still have enough room to talk about the Declaration of Independence. Child, go home. When I got haircuts, do you think they do it like, they're like, let's give her some room up here. Boy, and I had no eyebrows, so it made it so much worse. Y'all didn't bully me. No, I did get bullied, but not that much. Did I know I didn't have eyebrows? So, I'm wearing boots, and, uh, a purple plaid jacket. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did like this jacket very much. And leggings. Uh, anyways. This is two-thirds of my face, and this is one-third. Can we talk about that? You wanna talk about that? The teeth, uh. The teeth, that's so bad. The teeth are. My mom looks so bomb in this. Okay, so I'm wearing those um, sneakers again and those bootcut jeans again. I think those are different. That's a different pair um, of bootcut jeans, but I think that was a go to outfit. I don't think I stopped wearing bootcut jeans until like fourth grade, maybe. And then I was like, what are skinny jeans? I don't know who let me wear stripes. I found this photo on my mom's Facebook. Some lady commented and she was like, why so serious? So who? You can take that seriously? You can take that face seriously. You can take my face that seriously? Are you crazy? I'm wearing a red, white, and blue tank top. I don't know what we were driving home from but we were driving home and uh, and i was like i'm so bored and i made myself look like a clown i had no mirrors no light so i'm just like this this is gonna look so good i can't tell if i was like sad if i was like happy i don't know why i let my mom even take a photo of me i was probably about to cry boy next this one, I do not mind the outfit. I don't have anything bad to say about this. Can we talk about the amount of times that I was stuck in a hamper as a child? I think it was way too much. We were playing hide and seek and I hid in a hamper. next um okay so i liked this outfit and then i realized my mom's toes definitely ruined this entire photo baby blue uh shirt brown polka dots pink hot pink and then brown again let me know where that adds up to make sense okay because child that's horrible anyway next next this was at my fifth birthday party we are op or i was opening presents and i opened presents for like an hour straight it was so many presents and after i was like where's the rest taylor where's the rest go home i have no shoes on i'm wearing blue on blue with some bootcut jeans again next 
This one, we were definitely at Great Wiflage. Look at the TV. Don't I look like I have a wig on? I look like I have a wig on. Morgan looks like a Demogorgon. Wait, this is me with twinkle toes on. I loved those shoes to death. Boot cut jeans. And a whole dress to top it off. Uh, next. This, okay, so I started getting older. I, uh, these aren't in age order at all. So that's probably why I get from like three years old to like seven in a second. Our kitchen was still red. Morgan is using an ice cream scooper. I don't have anything bad to say about this except for wearing my teeth and eyebrows. Ah! I was such an ugly freaking kid. This was right before um, fifth grade camp. This makes me want to throw up. This makes me want to throw a book at my head. I want to commit arson due to this photo. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. My face was so disproportionate. I mean, I look like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed every day of my life. Look at my teeth. Uh, I'm done. I thought I was cute, but I did think that I was getting better at dressing. I was wrong. I thought this shirt was so cute and it's v-neck. What did I find cute about this? Why is my hair so light? Also, I don't know why YouTube is turning off my uh, comment section. Sorry if the audio is trash. I want to get a mic so bad because my freaking phone's audio is garbage.